What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Nerds on the Block. My name is Tim. This is Shamar. In this video, we're going to be dropping our E3 predictions for Nintendo. More on that next. Before we get started, if you like our content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified on all future content from us. So if you don't know what E3 is, essentially it is gaming's Christmas. It's essentially <laughs> the event that all games got unveiled and everything, there's news, there's developers talking about their new products, their new games, and it's a fun time at E3. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it with some of our predictions. Shamar, I'll jump with you just to tell me what you, it's like the top one like you wanna see. Uh, as far as predictions are concerned, uh, it's a long list. Long list of games that I know I'm not gonna see. But <laughs> Metroid, I think that's like the biggest, I, I'm, I don't even know what else to mention other than like Metroid. We haven't gotten a, a console Metroid game since the Wii. It's been way too long you know, since the last one. And, you know, we've been getting other Metroid games with the 3DS. And, you know, I'm sure big Metroid fans, you know, just clamoring to get any kind of Metroid fix that they can get. So, you know, picking up anything Metroid related besides the one game. <laughs> a game that should not be named. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> aside know. from that, yeah, it's, I, I think one of my biggest predictions, predictions, um, it is definitely Metroid for sure. Um, really hoping, I mean, for me, for my personal taste, I'm really hoping that they kind of stray away from the first person aspect of Metroid and try, Nintendo's known for doing ambitious things, so I don't feel like it's out of their character to make a Metroid game that's completely different from what they've done before, which is either, you know, the side-scrolling aspect or the first person aspect. So it'd be nice to get them to do a over-the-shoulder you know, maybe Gears of War type or even Uncharted-esque type Metroid game where you can actually see Samus's full body and, you know, full, fully fleshed 3D CGI, just pulling off all the crazy tricks she did. And um, what was it? What was the Samus game? Metroid um, Other, uh, Other is the M. only game Other that M. they ever <laughs> tried to delve into doing something differently and people didn't like that game because... Samus had emotions Which and is that was big of okay <laughs> it was such a short um a shortfall for the company just because like they thought like hey we tried something new the one time and then now we never want to risk it and now that's why you see them like doing something like a Samus Returns or or something like a Metro Prime 4 because we know like the sales have proven that that game can definitely carry and have excitement and have fan base going <laughs> crazy yeah. but yeah like i would like to see that but i don't think it would be likely i think what we need we would get is uh back in uh, february or january i think it was we made a rumor mill video and there was a title that was rumored called metroid resurgence uh heavily being rumored that it's taking place after the events of metroid uh, Fusion, which is <laughs> arguably, I think, your favorite Metroid game yeah. in the series. And like, I just want to see a continuation of that story. There's a number of games that Nintendo have been making, which they're still kind of sticking to their roots mm -hmm. and they're not branching out. And I don't know what the mindset is, what the, you know, the ideology, the yeah. ideology is about like, but I'm assuming their biggest takeaway when they make anything is don't fix what's not broken which yeah. is very ironic because they're so ambitious with making their consoles. But when yeah. it comes to making video games, they're the complete opposite of that. So yeah. like, you know, if we're talking Metroid, I think we're all talking Metroid, let's yeah. be honest. Mm -hmm. But you know, they should really do something very ambitious, very different. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. For Metroid, that would be something I would love to see. Uh, another thing that I would love to see, one of my first predictions would be just like, I want to see, obviously, more from Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is one of the most iconic characters in all of Nintendo's catalog. But, like, even, like, Retro Studios, a developer that's behind the Metro Prime series, uh, which is a nice segue, is that they, they took Donkey Kong Country and was like, hey, like, we're going to put him under this, like, winter landscape and, like, make it slippery. Like, it's going to make... Donkey Kong is already a hard platformer. Like just from the jump yeah. and it's like now like you're sliding on everything and like there are so many different worlds that you can go to uh in that but i want to see them take the donkey kong character in a different light like i want to see them maybe do a 2.5d like i don't mind 2d but like i just think like the donkey kong country moniker they need to move away from it and i think they like 
especially if this is going to be a studio that's rumored, heavily rumored right now, that the Super Mario Odyssey team is working on a potential Donkey Kong game. And if that would be more 3D, I would love it. I would love them to like just use the same engine in Odyssey just for Donkey Kong and like use different characters like Diddy Kong uh, and all of them and just make a, a complete game. Like Donkey Kong 64 is definitely something that sits at the back of people's heads and be like, I didn't even get through 15 minutes of that. Yeah. Like, so that's definitely one of my other predictions. I mean, I think there's gonna be another Mario game. I feel like there's there hasn't been a single game event that hasn't, <laughs> hasn't no. not shown a Mario game. So, you know, it's it's bittersweet to say, I think there's gonna be another Mario game because it's like- Are we talking it's Mario, like, to, just like a platform? Or are we talking Mario like a sports game, a party game, a cart game? I'm thinking um, outside of what we already know, I think there's gonna be another big Mario game that's coming in or oh, whether it's a that. sports game or it's a party game or it's an adventure game. Yeah, those are fine. Like, I, don't I feel think... like it's going to be another just general Mario game. Hopefully it's not a game that, you know, has been made already. Mm -hmm. And then they're kind of bringing it back and it's kind of like you're not really bringing it back in a way that we haven't played before. So, you know, if you're going to take like, for instance, Super Mario World and completely remaster it, that's fine. Yeah. But if you're going to bring that back and then oh, add a few things here and there, but you never really like ultimately you haven't done anything that's any different from what's already been done, then it's like, I don't want to see that. So, yeah, I don't think there's a place in this year's like uh, calendar year for uh, like full fledged Mario game. Like we already have Mario Golf Super Rush coming out in just a matter of a few weeks. Like, I just think a sports Mario title, that's enough for Mario from the year. But if they do have another thing Dang. like coming, I would think it would either be a Mario Kart 9 or it'd be a, a Super Mario Party 2. Yeah. These are also titles that have been heavily rumored as well. Yeah. I can see one of them happening, but again, like it, maybe Mario Kart 9, like as like there's talk of a Switch Pro, like that's like a game that you can market with that. Um, I just don't think like a Mario adventure game is just likely for this year. Like it's they're, they're, they're thinking about Zelda. They're thinking about like the Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever that game ends up being called. That's like another title I wanted to talk about because obviously the first Breath of the Wild took the world by storm. Like everybody was just like, okay, it's going to be another Legend of Zelda game like Skyward Sword maybe. Yeah. No, like it, it did a lot of things right. Yeah. Um, and for it to be even better than that game, it needs to go back to its roots in a sense which is yep. funny because like it's store it's it went so like far left to be like hey we're going to differentiate ourselves to be a whole totally different I mean, they did a good zelda. job doing it yeah. but it just ultimately i mean i don't know i guess every zelda fan is an interesting bunch of people because you have the zelda fans that are like pro anything that comes out from that series and then you get the zelda fans that are like myself that are kind of like okay i've seen this we've played this we've done this already Let's let's do something new within, you know, the realm of elements that make Zelda so great. But let's get something new. And I think when it first started out, that's what they were doing. Every single Zelda game was new. It was different. It was fresh. Felt like a new adventure. You know, now it's kind of like they went like you were saying, they went so extreme yeah. to one side and they did an amazing job with Breath of the Wild for a lot of good reasons. But then, like, for example, the end of the game, spoilers for anybody who hasn't finished it yet and if you haven't it was then, too easy i don't know what you're doing but yeah. anyway yeah but, um yeah it's just it was there was moments in that game are just way too easy and i'm like i don't remember any zelda games feeling like it was like wow that was kind of underwhelming like usually like beginning middle and end it's always a consistent yeah consistent. definitely like i I've, I've seen people like stream walking up to ganon with a twig and beating and beating like it and like that shouldn't even be a thing that's unacceptable because <laughs> like, it's like the, the build-up in all these games like even twilight princess me and you always talk about this is just like that game had one of the best finales in the entire oh, yeah. series just because probably like, the best it, boss battle music too oh, yeah, like it's that too, still exactly. haunting me to this, day. <laughs> to this day but just like yeah i want them to just go back to like some of the elements that people love about the Zelda series, like those darker games, like the Majora's Mask, the Twilight Princess, like people want to see those elements being uh, thrown into this title. Cause like, this is going to be marking a trilogy actually. Cause yeah. the Age of Calamity came out last November. Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. And it's like, all right, 2021 is here or is this coming 2022? Regardless, doesn't matter when it comes out. We want a darker Zelda, a game with more dungeons and a more challenging game. Just, just in generally. generally. Just generally. 
But moving on to uh, another game that I would like to see is maybe something more from Kirby. I think Kirby is one of those characters that kind of like what you were saying before, just just a lot of 2D games. Like I remember we uh, both uh, played Star Allies together and we like crushed that game. What was it like? It was two like days? A, like a day, two, two days, yeah, two and days it was just like, like no. And it's like it's these, these games are too easy. I'm not saying Kirby games are bad. But they're just too easy. They just like they don't take the game seriously. No. They're they're clearly not made for hardcore gamers. They're no. just made for and and I don't know, but I can't speak for all Kirby fans. But I I couldn't imagine being a Kirby fan and then playing a game like that and being satisfied. Because the last Kirby game I was like legitimately satisfied with was um, Amazing Mirror. Amazing Mirror. That was the last Crystal one. Shards was good. And K Kirby Crystal Shards, Amazing Mirror, yeah. um, Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. Kirby Air Ride. Okay, no, that was I'm, a racing yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but like that's but what Amazing I mean. Mirror was like the epitome Ooh. of Kirby games for me. Because mm -hmm. not only was it four player, but you know, it was like a very grandiose game with all kinds of like puzzles and challenges. Some things, some areas you couldn't even get to unless you had you played multiplayer. So you yeah. had the incentive of like, yo, buy the game, guys. <laughs> like, guys, yeah. buy the game so you guys can come together and play the game, experience levels and areas and bosses that you couldn't even begin to you know do that by yourself so real realistically you were playing the game one way by yourself and if you and basically that was like free dlc right because it's like well if you have friends with the game you can go to this area you can fight this boss you can encounter this weapon that you probably wouldn't get by yourself like little things like that they did in that game and i was like well i if they make a game like this but in 3D, I'm set. It doesn't have to necessarily be multiplayer, but like just the idea they had with that game where you're, you're going to different worlds and the game was challenging esque. Like it was still fairly easy, but at least you had a lot to do. There was a lot of things to do, a lot of things to look forward to in that game. So I feel like Kirby deserves like an, uh, he deserves better. Basically. Yeah, no, I, I agree wholeheartedly. I think that like, you just took every word out of my mouth. I just, I think if they do something like that with Kirby, you could get the fans like me back. Because it's like, I don't look at that series as something for me anymore. I feel like I've outgrown Kirby. Going forward into the conversation, what games would you like that you know you're probably not going to see, but if for whatever reason they surprise us, what game or games would you like Nintendo to kind of surprise us with? Okay, that's a good question. You know what, I'm gonna go with F-Zero because I think this is one of the most dormant franchises for Nintendo that I just, like, cause like yeah. we're talking about a Mario Kart 9. Yeah. We're talking about, because like Mario Kart 8 is literally being out Mario Kart for 9. like how long? It's been out for like 70 years right, now. And it's a, it's my favorite Mario Kart. It's a really good game, but like we need a new one. Like, cause we, we're used to getting like them in like in a cycle of three to five years, every new Mario Kart. So the fact that they've been like reliant on this one, F Zero is another game that could just give us another high octane like speed racer. And yeah, it's, just, like, it's such and a they different were, game. And they were good games. And yeah. again, you can't have a game like Smash Bros. promoting all these characters and never and using these them. characters do not have games. It makes yeah. no sense to me. Like, yeah. how are you having all these characters in Smash Bros? I'm a kid playing Smash Bros. Ultimate, seeing all these different characters. And there are no games I can be like, oh, okay, I want to play. I love Captain Falcon. I'm all over that character. But there's no game I can play. And then you want me to go back to the Super Nintendo or the GameCube to play? F are you Where is this game? Really? Like, GX? I'm going to go really? back and play G... No, man. And not every kid. Some I... kids are very, like, in, in, entitled is the wrong word to use. But some kids don't want to go back and play classic games. You know what? I don't blame them. Yeah. The game it's, it's not for them, right? They, they, they figure like, okay, I'm going to stick with the times. And I definitely want to echo Not every kid like, wants to go back to 2D, you know? Yeah. The, kid, the kid that grew up with a laptop and a tablet in his hand, seeing like the graphics we only dreamed of seeing when we were back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, come on. You can't expect those kids to want to go back, especially if they don't have siblings or people to be like, hey, you want to play F-Zero? You want to play so-and-so? You know, here's this classic game. Yeah. Not every kid has that luxury of people telling them what games and not kid any kid cares to do that either. Most definitely. Yeah. And for you, like what, what game would you like to see? Oh my gosh, like like anybody that <laughs> knows me knows I won't <laughs> shut shut up about this character. But yeah. he's the character we all know and love to hate in Smash Bros. Yep. And it's Star Fox. Yeah. Star Fox has been like I don't understand. Like, I love you, Nintendo, and I, I this is not a roast. But like, 
you got to do better than this, man. You got way too many characters that you, that are being promoted on other video games or other platforms. You got people on YouTube doing their own thing to get their Star Fox fix or fix for any characters that have been lacking. And what do you guys, you guys are just kind of like, cool. Well, uh, we made a, a remake of the 64 on the 3DS. Go back and play and that. That's play, like, that's, go that's, play that that's the attitude I'm getting. So you want to yeah. play, play this character? Go back and play this. You Star Fox Zero. Yeah, which was obviously just no. cumbersome in gameplay. And like, I no. think Star Fox has been one of those characters where the controls and gameplay mechanics have been fluctuating too much throughout his like tenure of a character that I think Nintendo sometimes doesn't know what to do with him. And it's like even them just like forking them off to Ubisoft, being like, "Hey, you're going to be in Starlink." Starlink, uh, and it's just like, that was not a game. That? Yeah, who it's, asked for that? It's not a game that, as Star Fox fans, you were like, "Okay, like that." That was that's just a slap want. in the face. It's like you didn't give me a Star Fox game, but you made a Starlink, and you thought yeah. that was okay. No, that's not okay. Th that's, <laughs> them be that's them being like, "Yeah, like honestly, we don't know what to do with the character. Like, hey, like you can put him in your game. Maybe it'll like." foster new sales or bigger sales for your title that's a new ip but like man like this guy just give him a game like star fox assault if this is me just like what you're saying i would love to see star fox as well i want to see a star fox assault 2 like I, that's the game i yeah. want to see again because it's like i love that fox would go to cover he could shoot he can move he can get into his landmaster he can get into the r wing like whatever like, way, i just want to be able to the just world move. is like there's so many elements to play with it's like it's a how could you not think of a game to make? You get the elements from Star Fox Assault to get the elements from Star Fox Adventure. That's all you need. Yeah. That's all you need. Have Star Fox go to different planets, you yeah. know? You know, if there's a grand scheme that's going on within the galaxy, then he has to go from planet to planet to planet. Maybe, you know, looking for clues, looking for answers, trying to take down this, you know, new maybe this, this new threat that's maybe trying to take over the Lilat system. And, you know, he's yeah. just... Traveling from planet on foot when he needs to be in space. He's on he's in space other than that He's in, he's on the planet. He's on foot. He's using different types of guns Maybe even some melee weapons like just everything like you know, it, it, he needs a overhaul Like he's one of those characters that's like yeah, like we don't want to see Star Fox 64 part 2 Nobody I'm wants to like, play that. Like, Nobody wants to play that or go through rings like, like I don't want to this is not Superman 64 like I'm done with rings Like I don't want to fly through them anymore. I'm but like, yeah, Star Fox deserves, you know, like that Star Wars You know that Star Wars treatment It's just the fact that as long as Nintendo Makes these games with the ambition to be like hey like this is this character to like but we're like giving it another ante like this is up another notch like we're we're not taking this character and just throwing him to the side anymore like if you just take them seriously nintendo fans will flock to these titles it doesn't matter if it's another mario or zelda we just want to see those characters just be treated correctly utilize like, that's it. and, and just treated utilize properly. It. like you got like, kid it. icarus you got the ice climber you got ness and lucas you got earthbound like come you on. got so many characters that are being promoted by Sakurai and Smash Bros. Like and not, used. not being used in any other game. So how are how are fans of Nintendo supposed what are they supposed to flock to? The same three characters? Or another Fire Emblem <laughs> game. <laughs> I think another Fire Emblem game will be announced before we get these games. Like, but yeah, those were our thoughts on Nintendo's E3 predictions for 2021. They have their presser on Tuesday in the morning, and then afterwards they have a three-hour treehouse, which is gonna be bananas. I hope that some of the things that we talked about today will come true yeah. and yeah those are our impressions if you like them uh, drop what you think nintendo is going to announce at e3 in the comments down below like this video share it and subscribe to nerds on the block for more content from us thank you for watching we'll see you next time yo you still here dog yo subscribe to the channel bro make sure you hit that notification bell to stay locked on all of our content when it drops. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, bro. Seriously, like it's so easy, bro. Just click the button, bro.